Hey, you all know that I am Aurora Day and this is the Secured Entrepreneur Movement. Happy Money Monday, happy Monday Monday. Yes, this is a happy Money Monday. You all saw the title. Today, we're going to talk about how it is you're going to win the lottery tax-free. Okay, so recently, Miss Aurora won a whole $5. Yes, I won a whole $5 in the supermarket sweepstakes, okay? So, upon my amazement, King David has to do this today. He has to do it, you all. <laughs> Upon my amazement and surprise, I take my little self up to the supermarket to claim my whole $5. So while I'm there, the young lady says, yes, fill this form out, stick the little pieces on here, we're gonna give you $5. I'm thinking to myself, well, I would've thought maybe they mail me a little $5 check, I don't know. But no, they're gonna give me this $5. So the lady begins to share with me that there was a gentleman who won the Corvette in the sweepstakes, but he did not want that Corvette he wanted the value, which was $75,000, which was an option. So they said, okay, we'll give you the $75,000. What do you all think happened? The sponsor of any sweepstakes or the lottery, anything over $5,000, 25% federal tax is coming out automatically. So out of the $75,000, if 25% was taken, maybe he got about $56,000 because yeah, that would be 25%. Okay, so he got about $56,000 of change, okay, after receiving this $75,000. All right, now, ironically enough, I'm thinking, you know, I'm thinking, I'm saying, you know, now I'm thinking about this whole thing, and not only if you live in a state where there's state income tax, you would get the 25% taken out automatically for the federal, but whatever the percentage is in that state that has income tax, that will come out automatically as well. Now, I do know that we have eight states, eight states that are income tax exempt, and I happen to reside in one of them, so let me see if I can run this down. We've got Florida, we've got Alaska, we've got Nevada, we've got South Dakota, We've got Tennessee, we've got Texas, Washington, and Wyoming. If you are residing in those eight states, you already know, in one of those eight states, you already know that there is no state income tax. So if you won something and it was over $5,000 and you collected that money in your own name, then hello, 25% is going to federal and you would be exempt from the state uh, tax, okay? But if you're living in a state where they do have state income tax, you're going to pay both federal and state. So now, moving forward, as I'm on my way back to the hotel where I'm staying right now, <laughs> a young lady that I follow and I love a lot, and if you are into magic, money, and metaphysics, you need to go over and subscribe to her channel. She is Mrs. Valerie Love, Ms. Valerie Love, okay? Uh, she was doing a video at the time that I was driving back here, okay? And the video is titled, Why It Is You Don't Want To Win The Lottery. She started talking about why it is you don't want to win the lottery. So I have a powerful message for us today about why you do not want to win the lottery. You do not. Now, she has a lot of experience in this department because she has just so happened to be married to a man who won, formerly married, to a man who won $17 million in the lottery. And she tells the story of how he won the lottery, I think she said in April, I'm gonna show you the footage. He won the lottery in April, she met him in June, there was $17 million. Here's the shocking news, every time I say this, people are very shocked by it, I'm gonna say it again. I was married to a man who won $17 million in the lottery. She goes on to discuss how he took the annuity, I believe, and he was getting a payment every year, and she talked about how much tax came out of the payment and all of this stuff. Okay, now, at this moment in time, she says that the gentleman does not have any of the money, and she is paying him child support. Okay, so this, these were her reasonings for you not wanting to uh, win the lottery. The reasons why you should not desire to win the lottery. So now I have to chime in. I'm listening to this whole thing and I have to chime in because you know that's what Miss Aurora's going to do. And I say to her, and I'm gonna show you the footage. <laughs> 
it, it, it's best to collect those types of, that amount of money, those types of winnings and things like that, sweepstakes, to have your trust claim those prizes. And she says, whoo, that's very good, but he did not have a trust, okay? Ding, 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 ding. $865,000 a year, write this out. That's the number that they're gonna give you every April. Came April, they told him. You picked a 20 year option, your first check is gonna be $865,000. You're gonna get $865,000 every year on, in April. The IRS wants their cut, fine. They're gonna take 300,000 send it to the IRS. That's how much the IRS said they supposed to get. 300,000, fine. You paid your taxes. You receive a check for $565,000, okay? Aurora, it's best to allow your trust to claim the winnings to avoid taxation. Interesting, Aurora. He wasn't that advanced. He wasn't in the habit of, I don't wanna say anything bad about him because he is a very wonderful person. This is how you are going to receive your sweepstakes winnings, your lottery winnings, tax free. First of all, you must have a tax exempt entity to claim the prize, okay? And you must have the tax exempt entity before you go and claim that prize, meaning that you must assign the winning ticket, whatever it is that's, 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 that's connecting you to the prize, you must assign that to your trust. And then, you go and collect that prize, okay? You assign that winning ticket, whatever it is, you assign it to your trust, all right? And then you can go and collect that prize. And why do you want to do this? Because you don't want to receive the money in your own name. Why, why is that? First of all, you want anonymity. That's the first, you don't want everybody to know that you won the line. Do you want your little begging, thieving cousins and them? <laughs> Okay, to start calling you up. They haven't spoken to you in 20 years, but they heard that you won the lottery, okay? Now, if you do it this way, not only can you legally and lawfully state, I don't have any money. I did not win the lottery. No, I did not. If you want to admit that you are the beneficiary, you can admit that, but I wouldn't, <laughs> okay? So if you want to be in it to win it, as they say, all right, you have to have your tax exempt entity in place. Have that in place. And you all know as secured entrepreneurs, that's part of our wealth cycle, to have our trusts in place because we are moving money, we are moving in anonymity, we are building wealth, okay? We are multiplying that wealth anonymously, okay? Safely, securely, okay? That is what we are all about here, all right? So we already know that we have our entities in place. But for those of you, who are actually playing these sweepstakes and you're, you're, you're collecting these items, I, even if you win the car, I would not even accept the car in my own name. I would have my trust in place so that the trustee can go and accept that prize and I'll have my nice trust plate riding in the front and the back of that automobile, okay? Because the whole game, we all know this, is to control everything to own nothing. Remember that. You know, that's what we do here in the Secured Entrepreneur Movement. So, all right, that's how you're going to claim your lottery winnings tax-free. So, you all know that you can find me at auroradayconsulting.com. For the ladies, 100K, the secured way is available to you now. You can go to auroradayconsulting.com and get it there. You can visit us on Facebook, Aurora Day Consulting, and you can get it in the shop. Hello, links are down below. For all of you who are I mean, you've been emailing us and I thank you and please continue to do that about your holding companies. If you go to auroradayconsulting.com and you click on uh, the movement, you can go and get the LLC Money Engines course and the last modules is all about holding companies. It's holding companies 101. So everything that you want to know about setting up your holding company, how you're gonna do this thing correctly, is a part of that course. So the links will be down below. If you are here on Facebook, the links are gonna be on the Facebook page. If you have not joined us in the Secured Entrepreneur Movement, the female edition, this is for all my ladypreneurs, you need to go ahead and make that happen today. The link's gonna be down below here in YouTube, on top here on Facebook, and until next time, 